Today, I must survive 24 hours on the oldest anarchy server in Japan. Let me explain. You're all familiar with 2B2T, the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, and it's no secret how big it's gotten on YouTube over the years. But from time to time, the server will go viral in different countries. The most recent one is Japan. Many content creators have been making videos, live streaming their adventures on the server, and have exposed brand new audiences to the anarchy environment. I began receiving DMs from some of my viewers that because of the sudden popularity, a clone of 2B2T has opened up in Japan. I knew I had to check it out for myself and see if I could survive. Now, to log in with my main account fit would be a major red flag. I would likely be recognized and hunted down instantly, so instead, I'll be on my alt, Ness. They'll never see it coming. Today, I'll be surviving for 24 hours on 2B2T Japan and see just how different it is from the real thing. I have no idea what to expect, so let's do this. It's the moment of truth. Is 2B2T Japan as bad as the real thing? I've spawned in, and just this central area at 00, zero reminds me a lot of the actual 2B2T. Not nearly as destroyed, of course, but give it enough time, it'll get there eventually. Now, our goal today is simple. Survive for 24 hours, and we're also going to try to see if we can befriend any players we come across. Even though there's a language barrier, I still think we can find some legitimately good people on this server. I think that's enough sightseeing in this lava cast. It's time for us to head out and get our resources. We need food first, and just judging by the spawn, we shouldn't have to go that far because I think the server's only a few weeks old. Oh, there's somebody. Hey, oh, they're hacking. Oh my god, yeah, they just, they're already walloping on us. All right, let's do this. Nah, they got the first hit on us, and they've been critting. I think we're done for, but we're going to give it a shot. Oh, yeah. There's no way we're going to survive. Well, the 24-hour survival challenge lasted two minutes, so uh, GG, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, they're back! <laughs> okay, we have to kill them now. Yeah, if I were to get killed twice in a row in unarmed combat, that would just be embarrassing. There we go. Clown down. Oh, are you kidding? They're, they're just straight up fly hacking on this server? Okay, that, so that's the kind of anarchy server this is. I see how it is. All right, what are you going to do to us? Are you going to kill me? Oh, oh, thank you. Uh, domo arigato. I appreciate this. Okay, the established players here are much friendlier than 2B so far. I like that. Now, I have to manually enable fly hacking because I'm not used to having this on 2B. Oh, yeah. There we Okay, this will make it a little easier for us to survive, but remember, everyone has access to fly hacks, so uh, we'll have to see how this goes. Check it out, there's some crops over here. You don't see them this close to 0-0 zero, zero on other anarchy. Lesson learned, always land in water when fly hacking. Alright, hopefully this is the last time I have to reset the 24-hour counter for this challenge. We've got our first set of ruins here, and the funny part is, these ruins are probably only a few days old. That's the crazy part. They look like they've been wrecked, though. But, I mean, that's what happens when you build this close to spawn. It doesn't matter what anarchy server you're on. Building this close is never a good idea. Hello, fellow traveler. It seems that you are not hacking, so I'm just going to leave you alone. But, yeah, if there's player activity this close, we need to get out a little farther before we start gathering resources. We're coming up on an island. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta blur the screen right now. Okay. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm looking at right now, let's just say it's a giant uh, Georgia O'Keeffe painting in very great detail. Yeah. 2B2T Japan, why am I not surprised you would make something like this? Jeez Louise. Now that we're on George O'Keefe Island, it's time for us to gather our resources, because I'm tired of just flying around as a hungry homeless person. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Tons of good ores down there. We need to get our iron, and then we can get our diamond, and then we'll be good to go. Remember, this is an anarchy server, so it's not cheating if everybody's cheating. Yeah, that's, that's my life advice for you this video. Oh, Tracer popped up. Oh, that's not good. Oh, this is quite the conundrum we're in right now. Okay, luckily we still have all of this stone between us and that potential attacker, so... Oh man, and we've got all these diamonds already. How are we going to get out of this one? You know, okay, I'm just going to put on the basic diamond gear because that'll stop us from getting one shot at least. And then from there, maybe we can dig into the ocean and fly hack away just in time. 
All right, this is going to be close, though. Hopefully they're not digging down towards us right now. Okay, looks like they're still just kind of chilling up there. We should be able to make our escape. Oh, they're waiting up there, bloodthirsty as ever. Now, I'm guessing they don't realize that we are actually hacking right now. So if we can get that water to come down, it should be an easy escape. And it seems like they're distracted right now. Yeah, they're still on the island, so we should be okay if we can just get that water to flow down. All right, it should be right above us. This is the moment of truth. Are we going to survive? All right, let's turn on the fly hacks. I really got to hotkey this thing next time. See ya, bye-bye. Oh God, I got to blur the screen again because George O'Keefe is back. That was a close call, but we made it. So now we need to focus on finding a small place somewhere to just enchant our gear, get more established, because we want to go back to spawn and befriend some people, but we can't do that in just this basic gear. We're in a pretty safe spot, at least for now. So I'm setting up a small auto fishing station since it's a great way to get a lot of higher level enchantments quickly without the work of setting up a table or an XP grinder. You know how it goes. Once we have some good enchantments, we can head back to spawn without getting steamrolled. Been at it for a few hours now. I finally have my God Rod. It's got all the maximum fishing enchantments, so hopefully the better enchants will start coming in more quickly now. I've been organizing. I worked my way up to one piece of Protection 4, and the rest are all Protection 3 armor. But I've also got some really good weapons here. I mean, I got a good sword now, a good bow. I should be okay to head back to spawn to meet some new people. All right, let's get this show on the road. Now, we're not that far from spawn, I mean, if we're flying there anyway. So once we get there, we do have a ton of cooked fish on us. Hopefully, we can use it to make some friends. Hey, Frisk, it looks like you left your pet parrots here. What kind of sicko abandons their parrots in the middle of a jungle? This is animal cruelty. It just seems like lately, every video I've made about the anarchy environment, we have all these abandoned mobs just chilling out in the middle of nowhere. You know, someone's got to contact PETA on Twitter. This is getting ridiculous. There's an abandoned farm here, and it seems all the crops have been harvested. We'll probably see even more of these as we get closer to spawn. I have a feeling things are going to get real interesting once we're there. But if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to leave a like, and if you're cool enough to hit that subscribe button, even better. All right, no more distractions. We're back at spawn right now, and remember, our goal is to not only survive, but to befriend people as well. Oh, there's someone right now. If we give him some fish, we should be good to go. Yeah, how you doing, buddy? Now, oh God, I'd kill Oran. No, 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 no. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, I am so disappointed in myself. That was a complete accident. Everyone I come into contact with dies. Uh, anyway, let's actually, let's see if we can make amends. Hey, you want this fish? You like getting slapped with a fish? As like going AFK in an anarchy spawn, that's very, uh, very bold of you. Come on, I, I just want to give you this food. Just land somewhere, dude. All right, here's the gentleman that we accidentally killed earlier. We're giving him some food now, so hopefully, yep, that's right. There you go. I, I think we're okay now. I, I, my bad karma is gone. Check this out. There's someone with no gear. They're just flying around and they're actually repairing the spawn. It seems like they're plugging up all these water spouts and stuff. Really interesting. I mean, overall, the, the spawn here so far actually seems quite chill compared to other Anarchy servers. I mean, it seems less hostile. It's really cool to see. You know, to reward you for your hard work of repairing this spawn, let me give you some nice, delicious cooked salmon. There you go. Uh, not too naughty. I think I said that properly. Oh, look at that. See, crouching is the universal sign for peace in Minecraft. It's the universal language. Oh, we got some other people here, so let me turn on tracers. Yeah, Ven, how you doing? Uh-oh. Monica is up there, geared with a totem. I got a bad feeling about this. Let me just turn on my fly hacks real... Oh, God! Yep! They're not too happy I'm here, so let's take some evasive maneuvers. Time to see how good these future fly hacks actually are. Now, it looks like we might be slightly faster than them, so we should be able to escape as long as we just keep outmaneuvering them. Maybe they'll get bored and leave us alone, but... This is actually kind of fun. Just, you know, fly hacking around. Yeah, catch me if you can. That's right. Too slow. While we're taking these maneuvers, I want to point out just how many withers are actually at this spawn. I just realized. I mean, on 2B2T, you can't have this many all in the same place. So that is another difference I've noticed. But yeah, look at us. We're just maneuvering through this spawn like it's nothing. They can't even keep up with us. So even though our armor is not the best, our fly hacks are keeping us plenty safe right now, it seems. 
Seems they gave up so we can finally go back to just feeding the people. Feels good. Yeah, I remember you. You are the guy I slapped with a fish earlier. Maybe, do you actually want some now? Oh, wait, he says domo. Yeah, that means thank you. Yeah, we should probably type it back just to be courteous. Domo, thank you. Yeah, come on. If you want some fish, man, just let me know. Wait, what's he typing in chat now? He says, oh, gee, <laughs> oh, gay. <laughs> I think he's talking about my three-letter username, probably. That'd be my guess. Check this out, the signs in Japanese. It's it's still weird to me to see, like, Minecraft signs in Japanese with text. It's, it's still strange to me. But, oh, this is kind of a nice scenic view of the spawn region. Yeah, not too destroyed right now. The fact that you can still have trees here and spawn is within view, that's kind of funny. Check this out, it's a skeleton horse. So I'm gonna see if fly hacking with a horse actually works on Tubi2T Japan. Oh god, this is this is not looking good right now. Isn't that crazy? Regular fly hacking works just fine, but if you try to do it on a horse, the server has a problem with it, apparently. Oh yeah, this is looking really strange right now. Oh, oh god! I, oh, you, all of you watching at home, you did not see anything. Anything. To be to t Japan has been a bizarre experience. I mean, ranging from Georgia O'Keeffe paintings to slapping people with fish. It's been interesting to say the least. But anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like and hit that subscribe button. But that's it for today, everyone. Take it easy, and if you plan to play, stay alive out there.